Okay, hello everyone. Bridget Ayer here with mm -hmm. All About the Grace. And I have just been getting so many great comments and I've been getting, I've been having, whoops, knocked my microphone off there. I've had um, some really super great guests on Catholic Radio Indy in the past, you know, couple weeks and I'm getting behind because I want to share all this stuff with you. Um, <clears throat> I want to share a book um, we're kind of heading into the marriage season which really is from May pretty much up until December it seems like that's you know when a lot of people get married they get married in October all through the summer up to October and then a lot of people have Christmas weddings so the Catholic Church is really great when it comes to marriage preparation and most people and I, I'm gonna do a whole segment on marriage and all that because I have some really super great guests that are doing um, some really neat things in marriage I think it's called celebrate marriage and I'll I'm gonna be having them on um, they're a young couple who started a really cool marriage ministry at their parish and I'm gonna I'm gonna have them on um, coming up soon and I also did an interview with them on Catholic radio so I'll put the link to that when I do the YouTube interview I'll put the link to the Catholic radio interview but what I want to talk about today is most people are called to um, the married vocation and if you are married currently or if you're going to be married in the future this is a great resource um, that I'm going to share with you today I'm actually reading it right now I'm really big fans of Greg and Lisa Popcheck. they have a show on EWTN uh, Catholic Radio uh, that is called more to life <clears throat> and if you just google more to life you can get their podcast or you can listen to them live uh, they're in in the Indianapolis media market they're on Catholic Radio Indy I believe at 10 o'clock and I believe their show is an hour and it's an it's a call-in show and it's it's really good but they are uh, Catholic psychologists and their show is just super awesome I love it but <clears throat> Greg Popcheck also writes a lot of books and he has a um, pastoral it's called pastoral solutions counselors they are telemed Catholic counselors too so that's uh, another thing that you can think about if you know someone that needs counseling um, they have a practice and I have a friend who's actually in that practice but um, this is a big intro but um, Dr. Greg and Lisa Popcheck uh, have authored this book discovering God together and I think as a Catholic parent you're always um, our our role is to obviously love God love our spouse and to pass on the faith to our children and that's always been a challenge um, and I think with the advent of new media and on-demand media and smartphones and devices that that has made being a parent much more difficult and passing on the faith that much more difficult so I know a lot of parents that I talk to struggle with this I struggle with this but this book I think is really really helpful in um, helping parents figure out how to pass on the faith in a really practical way so <clears throat> without giving everything away I just want to give you a couple the three points of this book the way it's laid out makes perfect sense first what about your own prayer life you gotta, gotta get that in order number two um, you know it's, it's about discovering God together so it's have, like having a relationship with your kids and then number three, and this was kind of mind-blowing for me, I'm going to do that again, mind-blowing, um, was having your family be a apostolate, as in like a, a charism. For instance, ordered priests you know like the Franciscans or the Jesuits or the Dominicans or the Sisters of Life or the Pauline Sisters or you know think of any order you know the Sisters of Charity um, you know all of the different orders 
of religious orders. They all have a charism. And your family has a charism too. And that, I just read this the other day because I'm reading this book. And I just... I never thought of it that way. I never that that idea never dawned on me. And so now I'm thinking, okay, well, what's our family's charism, you know? And um, so it's just another way to think of it. But really, the family is the domestic church, and you can Google that. There's a lot of writings, um, church writings on the domestic church, what that is, what it means. But basically, passing on the faith starts here at home. And it starts with a relationship with God of yourself, you know, yourself, a relationship with God, and then you, you can't give what you don't have. So passing that on to them. Um, <clears throat> and then you have to have a relationship with your children. And then you need to be in mission together to go out. And so that is something that is always um, on my heart wanting to do and um, as I learn more about this book um, I'll share more with you but I really want to highly recommend this book it's it can really like it says here transform your family into a peaceful and faithful faith-filled example of God's love and that's really what we're supposed to be doing and parents have to take on this role Catholic parents have to take on this role um, proactively. You can't just send your kids to a Catholic school and think, well, they're going to get it. If you're not living it at home, if you're not praying as a family, uh, you need to have individual prayer, you need to have family prayer, and then you need to do service or some type of mission together um, with your family. So as I evolve um, with this book, I will come back and maybe... Uh, talk a little bit more about how it's worked with my family. Um, I'm guessing that the, apost the, the apostolate that my family will be involved in is a media apostolate. Uh, my children both know how to, um, you know, take video, edit video, um, photography, they're artists, you know, they're musicians, all that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking that, um, you know, our family apostolate might be, but maybe your family's good at hospitality. Maybe your family's good at, um, you know, whatever your family's good at, whatever is going to be your family's uh, charism. Um, I'd like to hear, I'm, I'm sure some of you are already way ahead of me and you're already doing some kind of family ministry, but um, please leave a comment and let me know if you are doing some kind of family ministry or if you have any questions. Um, again, I want to highly recommend this book um, and also, uh, Dr. Greg and Lisa Popchek's uh, show called More to Life. It's, it's super awesome. Whenever I listen to it, and I do listen to it on demand a lot, uh, I always get something good. And I've even blogged about um, some of their topics before. So you can catch me on my blog at www.allaboutthegrace.com. I have um, blog content there. I've got these YouTube videos I try to upload there as well. And I also have a lot of my podcasts from Catholic Radio Indy. You can also find me at Catholic Radio Indy at www.catholicradioindy.org. And you can go to podcasts and go to Faith in Action. Faith in Action is a show that I host. And you can find me there. And if you're looking for a speaker or if you're looking for communications consulting, <laughs> I really don't sleep. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be a speaker on media and discipleship or um, media and discipleship as it relates to your family or it could be for young people or for in family situation. Um, I'm happy to come and speak. Um, and I also have a new book coming out, which uh, might be out by the time this, um, by the time I air this, but that is called uh, Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media. And it's all about this whole new uh, media paradigm shift that we're in the midst of and how we can use that for evangelization. So I think that's all my commercials and my uh, public relations firm is called PAX Public Relations. That's www.paxpr.com. So there you have it. And uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I love to hear your comments. I'm getting some great comments. And um, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.